Well, hello. And welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire here on Boot to Plays Whatever. In our previous episode, we did some talking. I'm going to do a little more talking today. But we talked to the Queen, and she pointed us in one direction for one thing. Then we went and talked to the Deadfire Trading Company, and they wanted us to do a task for them to kind of screw over um, these people we're about to talk to. Now, um, is it is your offices? Oh, my God. What is 13? Mine's nine. Oh, man. Some of these mechanics. So we're going to have to wait, which kind of sucks. Now, what time is it? It's midnight. Um, we'll wait until morning. So we're going to talk with these guys and see what kind of uh, deals they're willing to cut us. And then we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of gauge our prospects after that. And then we're going to head on out to the sea. And we're going to go talk to uh, the lady whose man we butchered not too long ago over at the the fort. But, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Do you have your cows going? Do you have your gold your gold outfits in tow? Huh? 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 Because it's time to get our game on here. Let's go ahead and see what these people have to say. What is their offer on the table here? We, of course, do everything for our lonesome selves. We are here to make ourselves better, and we care not for anybody else. That is my motto. Because in the end of all, we have to go defeat Eothus. Now, are you the person I have to talk to? Nope. Not important enough for me to care. Come on, gang. Everybody up in here. Is this the boardroom? Do I talk? Who do I talk to? I call it. You have business here? Um. I'd like to speak with the governor. You are in luck. The governor is between meetings. Go on in. You're in luck, bro. We'd slaughter all of you guys. Ah, the governor. A lot of women in power around here. Very interesting, man. It's like, uh... The watch. It's kind of cool. From the palace, yes? You made quite the impression on the canton of Jason. He went on for ages. Hmm. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Well, the only way I could do that is by... Stealing all of your stuff. Is that okay with you? I am Nueva Alvari, governor in residence of the Valiant Trading Company here in Nekataka. What brings you to my door? I might have to the balance. I mentioned you might have some work for the Watcher. Yeah. They speak the truth. A Watcher is welcome in these times. Under different circumstances, I'd write up papers for an emissary's posting. No? But we have a situation that needs immediate attention. Okay. How much do you know about the Luminous Adra trade? Mmm. Enough. Every viable deposit is of interest to us. Cartographers, surveyors, at any moment we have a dozen expeditions on the way. Okay. Some weeks ago, we received word of a large quantity of Luminous Adra on a distant island. Pukukahara. It is not charted on any of our maps. Oh, Pukukahara. However, Pukukahara is said to neighbor the island of Tikawara, and we've already made contact with the natives there. We dispatched an expedition to Tikawara with instructions to locate the Adra site and determine its value. Our people have neither returned nor sent any word on their progress. We are too long a delayed. And someone must finish the job. A watcher can determine if there is essence in the Adra, if it is worth the trouble and investment to remove it. Information for which we are willing to pay. What do you want to know about it? Not much, unfortunately. A few superstitions among the locals, but they're unusually tight-lipped about the subject. So you want me to find your people? Ideally. But if the worst has come to pass, I would like you to complete the investigation of the Adra deposit. Anything that may assist the company. Hmm. Okay. Gelarde, I will mark Tikawara on your map. We have had no real trouble with the villagers in the past, but I always recommend caution. This will be of some use to you, I think. It entitles you to act as a commissioned agent of the Valiant Trading Company. Present it, and you will be recognized as such. Until then, I believe we're finished. Return here once you have word of our agents and our prize. Oh, and 
take care upon the open sea. There are greater hazards in these waters than a few pirates. Hmm. So there is extreme amounts of interest in Poca Kahara. We got two separate trading companies vying for it. I uh personally, just based on talking with the the two trading companies, I kind of I kind of am siding with the the Valiants here, um, mainly because that other lady seems shady as hell. Now that might you know put a, a stamper on my thing with Pelegra right here because she is a part of them. And, you know, that is my backstory. Uh, that's the, you know, the other people that I came from. So, I mean, mm, I don't know, man. This is, this is, I mean, maybe I could do it and uh, lie to, like, one of the other ones and get them both okay. Because, let's see here. Where is the thingy on that? Uh, reputations. My reputation. This is my reputation wheel. Uh, as you can see, uh, me and him are kind of at a disagreement right now. Just just ever so slightly. We're not too disagreeable. But me and my boy, man, we are on good terms right here. This is my boy. I like my farmer guy, but I like this guy even more. Uh, overall, though, we seem to be on good terms just about everybody except for these people. I don't even know who the hell these people are. Oh, yeah, that's the people I killed down there. Okay. And we're not in the greatest terms of the principe. That should hopefully go up uh, since I've been doing a little bit of their quest. But... um. If we can get on good sides with, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're on equal, we're positive here, and then we haven't done any work for them, but we're on pretty positive note with these two thus far. But that remains to be seen how much longer we're going to be on a positive note with them, especially, uh, when it comes to the events of the outcome of this. Apparently, island that's highly sought after. Now, she's only looking for information. And she's kind enough to give us an emissary pass and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and leave the city. 56 minutes. A little short, little skip and a hop. Get out and out of the city. We got some adventure and a little bit of adventure. Dude, we can go down and we're going to talk to the lady over at the fort. And see what she has to say. After we slaughtered almost every single pirate down, down there. And uh, maybe she's uh, looking for, I don't know what the heck this lady honestly wants. But she wants to have she wants to have a, th a thingy with us. And a thingy could be several things. I don't know what it is. But let's go ahead and resupply on up a little bit. Oh, man. I would really like to uh, get some more of these potions. I should have did that here. But I think we'll be okay for today. Now, as you guys can see over on the left-hand side, I do have a nice discount of 10% for doing the various things and cutting a deal with the Principe on, this, uh, on the, uh, the shipwright in this town. He didn't like the deal, but he went ahead with it anyway. But, man, we got to look to start upgrading. And we are going to end up going top tier. Top tier. Whole health, crew, I mean, we're, hit chance, I mean, all these things, dude. Now, it takes... Oh, okay, so it's two turns for all those. Now, what's the galleon on that? Two turns for the galleon and the Dahal. It's two turns to go starboard. Okay, and the Voyager is one. Yeah, but it's poopy, man. We're going to end up going with a full-on junk, which, I mean, it's... I'm pretty sure we get more uh, more cannons and stuff like that. I don't know. But it's going to cost us 54 freaking Gs to get this bad boy. And then, of course, we're going to have to upgrade all these other things. And so you're talking, like, so much money for all this freaking nonsense. Um, it's It's going to be... Man, it's going to be super freaking expensive. Now, one of the things I did on my boat was I bought a menagerie, which right here says I have created a small house to all the extra pets that can't be taken on adventures. Now, when I added that, it can't be taken away from my ship, so it's always with my ship, which I thought to be interesting. So I think a lot of these things are going to be like, if I buy them, it's only going to go on to your ship permanently, and you can't resell it or anything like that. Interesting. Sale health. Plus five combat speed, negative two sail health, plus five travel speed. I mean, I could afford these things. And I guess it wouldn't be too bad, but I just don't see the point. In it. It's like, I'd rather s save on up and buy these extremely badass things. You know, you know what I'm saying, everybody? You know what I'm saying here? But we are in need of some supplies. Let's go ahead and pick up 50. Now, nah, let's pick up 40 medical supplies for our trip. Um, let's pick up some, oh yeah, repair supplies. 
Uh, give me 30 repair supplies, 31. Yeah, and we got plenty of water. We got food, medical. Um, we got plenty of cannon shot. Okay, let's go ahead and trade that. 639 bones, which is fine. And then let's go ahead and head out by sea. Oh, okay, we're already in the sea. What am, what am I thinking? Uh, but before that, inventories. Let's check out my inventory. Let's go ahead and give myself some of these extra potions. Now, potions, as it turns on out, are, uh, oh, I got some hats. Got some swords. A fine saber in D. Now, I made her a saber master. If you'll let me show me. 17 to 25. Now, is this saber any better? That's the same. Same difference, 17 and 25. And I also gave her shield. So I changed up some, uh, a couple of these things just to give them better, better battle stats and stuff like that. I also gave myself daggers. Now I have to find another good dagger so I have double daggers. So that close quarter combat, cause you know, I'm gonna be shooting from afar, but if they get close up on me, I'm gonna shank them. Alright? I could go with the shield on the offhand, but I want double daggers. So if I find another badass dagger, I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Um, I was gonna go with the Aquabus, but it just didn't make any sense. But, take a look at our map. Oh, there's Tikihara. It's way, way on over there. Holy jeez. Ash and Ma. Yeah, it seems like the further north we head, the more dangerous things become. Uh, and south down here is a little bit better. Now, I, I, when I was doing my venture night, I was all down south there, popping islands and just killing fools left and right. And, uh, yeah, it seemed to work on out. Now, let's, let's go ahead. Can we get this thing on autopilot here? Autopilot, uh, Fort Deadlight. Let's go ahead and start sailing to Fort Deadlight. Put a little autopilot, get, get a little time to talk about things coming on up here. So we're going to talk to this lady, and then we're going to see what she wants. Then after that, I really don't know. I think we're going to end up, uh, it's, it's going to depend on how long this really takes. We might just do a little bit of island exploring, and then after that, that'll probably be the end of the episode. Uh, because I'm recording this on a Friday, this is actually going to come out like on a Tuesday, which is which is fine. Uh, but over the weekend, I'm going to do a lot of these side quests. I'm going to get us bumped on up and be ready for these for these quests that are going to come, man. Because they are going to they're going to be rigorous. They're going to be tough. Why did you pause? Why did you pause? That's a little local village. I went there. I had some extra time on my hands. Went on over there. Uh. But yeah, we gotta we gotta get beefed up, man. It's like I haven't even found boots yet. You know, it's like I've been finding rings and stuff like that, but apparently boots are just super hard to freaking come by. Bro, you wanna go? We'll go. Alright, now actually I did one ship under I've been trying that my ship battles. Right? And uh he's a Dahal. Oh yeah, we are much do you really want to go, bro? We will freaking go, man. He's got better ship hole. He's got better sails. So it might be just better for us to just go head on with it. Hmm. It makes no attempt to hail you. All right. Let's go ahead. This should be interesting. Okay. Let's let's do a little combat. Let's see if I can if I can pull this off. Enter combat. <clears throat> so this right here. Absolutely makes no sense because if they do a full uh, jib, which was a U-turn, I end up getting sideways. I can never get back in this position. So we're just gonna go full speed ahead and get some uh, get close up on them, and we're gonna see what they're gonna do. Uh -huh. So they're gonna make a turn to the to the port. Yeah, the turn to port, negative five hit chance. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit closer to them. The closer we get, the better chances we are. Now he's turning to port again, huh? Well, they haven't gotten to the battle stations yet. Full speed ahead, man. We are going to close this distance. Scurry the preservation of newers. So they've stopped. We seem to up We are really close to them. So let's go ahead and report. Everybody report to your stations here, because that's how you end up setting up uh, your ability to shoot cannons. Oh, okay, so they've shot first. Oh, they got Iron Thunderers. They ain't messing around. Ooh-wee. Now, we've closed some major diff diff 
uh, distance right here. Um, let's go ahead and turn to port. Okay. They're going to try to get away from us. It's not going to happen, man. Where are these starboard cannons? Yeah, we're super close. They cannot get away from this. Tearing up that below deck crew. So we fire the starboard cannons. Now we can fire the port cannons if we make a complete right around them. So what are they doing? They're trying to get away. Half sail. Okay, so let's go ahead. Turn to port. Okay, they've stopped. We should be able to shoot. Oh, apparently not. Um, now they've reloaded. Now they've got a. They've gotten some pretty good damage on us. So let's uh, let's go ahead, Jib. And they're gonna close the distance on us here. Oh, they went full sail. Okay. Now, how in the world am I not being able to shoot these guys? Turn to starboard, which will turn us to the left. Let's go starboard. Now they're probably gonna fire. Okay, they've stopped. Yep, okay. Here comes their can of fire. Yeah, they're doing some decent damage. We should be able to fire though. Okay. Fire the port cannons. Oh yeah. Yeah, now we're starting to gain a little bit up on these guys right here. Enemy scurry scurry um scurries. Now they've it's gonna take them a little bit long well it's gonna take about the same the chain same chance right here. So let's go ahead and um prepare to jib. No, let's uh, turn the port. Turn to starboard. Let's prepare to jib. They're getting to their things. Resting crew. Oh, yeah. Which is flooding. Oh, yeah, man. Their boat is messed on up. Let's fire these starboard cannons. We're so close to them, man. They can't. There's no way they can freaking get away. Double misses? What is this malarkey, man? Uh, they're going to be able to fire next turn. So they're going to do a full turn, which is okay by me because that means we can shoot my other cannons. Uh, course of action. Let's go ahead and brace for impact. Oh, they're going to do a full turn as well. Those are reloading. Um, what does this guy do? Oh, okay, so the flooding is going to be resolved. Um... Let's also jib. See if we can't gain an advantage on this. They're halting. To stop this, uh, to, to, to lessen the blip. But let's go ahead, fire. How the heck are we missing, man? We are so close. Oh. This is really starting to anger me. Uh, let's brace for impact. Okay, good. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Um, let's go ahead. Let's jib. Let's go ahead and um, hold position to get extra. Apparently, that'll help with our shooting. So they hold the position as well. But we're going to get the first shot. Fire starboard cannons. 100% accuracy. 
Oh yeah, with that horrific nose. Oh yeah, major damage. So they're gonna fire two. Four damage to hull. Okay, so we have a slight advantage here. Let's go ahead. Let's jib to the other side. Okay. So they're trying to evade us here. Let's go ahead and hold position. Get the accuracy on up. They're going to hold position as well. We can fire port cannons though. Boom. Just rain it, rain it down on them. Okay, they're gonna fire as well. Miss. Now we've reloaded on this side, so we're gonna jib to the other side. That's the only thing good about this ship is the maneuverability is ridiculous. And they're gonna try to get away, but it's not gonna happen. Now if I fire these cannons, I mean, we can hopefully sink them as long as we don't double miss. But if we go ahead and hold position, we will have a definitely good shot. They've held position, but they're done, man. And this is how we do it. Done. Done and done. Yeah, so I figured it out a little bit better. Yeah, it sucks to be you guys. And then it's a bit easier on the crew here. Crew gained 1,200 experience. Crew uh, still level 2 experience. I gained a rank, and we all gained a rank. And now, the thing about this is that I mean, it's not a lot of coin. I mean, what is it, 150? So I'm going to go ahead and share it with the crew. It makes them all a bit happier. We're already at perfect freaking thing. But they didn't really ha they didn't have anything good. But we're going to take all of it. Let's go ahead and hit into Fort Deadlight. Yeah, so it's still a little wonky to me. Um... I I'm kind of figuring it on out, you know, the best that I can. I mean, that was about as good as it can get right there. Uh, we're going to need some major ship repairs. But let's see what this lady wants. We're coming back to the site of a horrific murder scene. <laughs> I don't know how welcome You're we're going to be. You're Captain Oaldi's invited to parley, ain't you? I'm to keep an eye out. Well, you only got one. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. All right, lead on, bro. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. I sure is. Well, I'm already pretty familiar with the place. Being as though I went into every single corner of this place and killed mostly everybody. Like, I went looking for people to kill. You must be Captain. Glad you could make it, Lovesome. Mmm, the battle-hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards you pleasantly. Her mist-colored eyes, one raven wing black, the other an icy blue, robe up and down your face. <laughs> like what you see. Oh, you're very harsh. Oh, and you have a poison sword. I kind of want that. Okay. A golden silhouette gleams against the scarred skin of her chest. When you notice it, she flips it up to reveal the mark of her status on the other side. The mark on this side... It means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. Okay. You killed my fourth chair mm -hmm. and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand. Sure. If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Show her the silhouette. We had a dispute, dispute between pirates. So you settled it, as pirates do. Suppose I can't fault you for that. Her lashes Still. lower over her black and blue eyes, fanning like dark feathers atop her cheeks. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? I don't. I'll take Benwith's seat at the on the council. I don't. 
I could get over 250 copper. Just to kind of pair off. Let's pair off. He said you had a smart mouth. But I suppose this will quell my anger. For a time. She moves a hidden knife, it gleams golden light, but isn't okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smashed in your hair. Hey, hey, leave my do alone. I'd like to make you a deal. Okay. Well, I was planning to offer you a deal, lovesome. A partnership between two right unstoppable captains. By which I'm referring to me and you. But it would seem you've gone and killed Mad Morena now. One of the captains most loyal to me and <laughs> a seat holder on the council. I did. It was uh, it was during my uh, adventure in... Sp uh, down... Okay, so... Okay, little little backstory about old Mad Morena, right? Now, when I was looking for the Principe flag, which I brought to you, uh, I don't know, a handful of episodes ago, ago, uh, Mad Morena was the person down in the depths of the, uh, was it the gullet or whatever? And that's the person who was guarding the flag. And I killed her or him, whatever the heck it is, and uh, took their sword, which my boy over here is using, and that's just kind of the way it is. So I do regret your choices, namely because they make life difficult for me. Perhaps we can still work something out in the future. I, yeah, okay. I know you've met with Ferrante, that you may even be working for him, that pribbling cockrot. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just. Keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I. So you want me to spy for you? How clever you are. Mm. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding, given half the chance. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. Mm. Well, what can I do you, Lovesome? Um... Yeah. We're the future, and we ain't going nowhere. Okay. We're pirates, Lovesom. We own this sea, and the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Okay. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Though if you're Valian, and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. Weren't you founded by refugees from Alvalia? Generations ago. And I grew like a weed in the deer wood, you see? Okay. You say Consueglo me casitas. I say Council of Captives. You say Principi. I say Best Pirates in the Dead Fire. You say Swollenet. I say... Well, some things stay the same. Okay. So, uh, what sort of things do you like to do in your leisure time? Wink, what? wink. Like, for hobbies. <laughs> when I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bar? Don't guess you like the same? Hmm. I could go for a hot bath right now. <laughs> Well, sure. You're welcome to use mine. But perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. Oh, you give this old uh, dwarf a little show? Okay. Uh, about four and Something auntie. for me, Duff? I'm all ears. Hmm. We'll give her a little. We'll give her a little information. Nekataka, but why there, Lovesome? Well, go on then. I'm sure you've heard our saying: share and share, as is the law of the coast. That uh, finds the remains of a foreigner's captain by that two centuries ago. I had heard rumors as to such. The floating hangman flies a flag featuring the burning palace from Old Valia. If you find anything else, be sure to let me know. Oh, 1500 bucks. She pays me for her information. Interesting. 
It was Ferrante who told me about Bellmouth. Give me money. I figured as much. That's how Ferrante gained his political standing. And that's how he keeps it. With underhanded tactics that whittle his opponents into ruin. Me? I prefer to face my foes head on. Give them the chance to join me before I fucking annihilate them. And I like to reward those who support me. I'm good to my allies, you see. Yeah? Two Gs? Dove, let me share with you a little of my treasure. Oh man, dude, this lady pays. That other guy, he just like, here's a robe. I'm like, you son of a bitch, dude. Okay. As you wish, Dove. Okay. I'm happily and wholeheartedly at your disposal. Very well. Nice, man. Gave her 250 bucks, made 1750 off the deal. That's the way I like to do it. Mm mm mm. Good times. Money, 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 money. I'm all about the dinero. All right. Make no line. I need the money. So now that we've been able to come back here, does that mean this place is uh like up and running again? Let's take a look. A look around here. Now, how the hell did we get out of here? I mean, I've ran through this place a dozen times. You know, killing mostly everybody. But still. Oh, hi, Captain. So there are people back here. Let's, uh, let's head on down to the kitchen. See if that lady's still working out. She didn't die. Maybe she'll give me some soup. It's kind of nice to be able to walk around without having to sneak on around everywhere and killing everybody. Yeah. You know? I didn't mind the whole killing because, I mean, I took all their clothes and stuff and sold them. Hey, lady, you still working here? Oh, you can't cook me anything this time around? Well, you're useless then. Useless! So, yeah, I guess now, hopefully this is a port. Um, Okay, if we head south, right? South? Okay, yeah, we can get out here going south. It's like I'm trying to remember. Wait, to the courtyard? Okay, so now that's how we get out here. Let's head on over here. Let's get back in the courtyard. I want to check this place out a little bit. See if we, if uh, it's become a full blown town, which would be nice because that means that we can buy stuff and things here. Because I need potions. I need healing potions like super bad. Uh, port to court to the forge. Okay, so all that's uh, exactly the same. Now, is there anybody left in town? Uh, okay, so all these people just straight regen. I killed all of you. You all should be dead. Make no mistake about this. Of course, there is that quest from my homeboy and this crew here. In fact, there is some remains left of these people. Oh, yeah. Give me all that. What's up, Salty Sam? Care to have a look? Just show me what you got. Right away. Um, the bloody lynx. It's actually pretty good, man. 35% recover time from 9 armor rating. Blood price grants blood price. What's this? In view of blood, the male constructs and ripples seemingly under its owner's power. It grants its bonus to all defenses when the wearer becomes bloody. Interesting. Fix torches. Fine sabers. It's not that fine. A fine dagger. Ooh, be nice. Um, I am looking for nothing you have here. So, do you guys have a, uh, it doesn't appear to be, okay. I said, do you guys have a potion seller around here, man? Yeah, because that's limited, the amount of potions people carry. Uh, when I was up in Nekataka, I went to a uh, potion warehouse, and, uh, yeah, it was very limited. Looks like gunpowder. So. Okay, so this isn't a port. Mmm, that kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I wish it was a port. Nah, I could, like, repair, get re ship repairs and stuff like that. Ah, uh, whatever. It happens. Uh, well, we got a little shipwreck over here. What's going on over here? Sift through the wreckage. Gain 10 repair supplies. I'll take that. Pry bar. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, so where are we at? Where are we at? The Steel Preacher. I have not been there. So 
So what is this? This is the island I venture to. We'll go ahead and venture through here real quick. And after this, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll wrap up the episode. Hmm, what's up with this guy? Is somebody going to have to die? Yep, they're all enemies. So, let's go get this. Let's get our sneaky attack on here. Now, as I was talking... This lady is a chanter, right? And why she doesn't have her chant on, I do not know. But before you can get into battle, and I think you can do it like uh, when you're just out of the blue, you can go ahead and create chant, chant, just whole chant things, right? You take this and it slides on over there. Then you can like kind of alternate it and stuff like that. And uh, it works out pretty good. Now, it's like first off, I have a uh, friendly aura, which gives us stride and reflex, right? For the first incoming text. Then after that, I get a little bit of regen. Going over here, two health for every second. And then after that, I have it going to Fortitude, and then it does a uh, just a little song and dance. After that, and then I, it loops. Loops on around. That's just a constant effect, man, which is super, super great. Oh, and she now has auras, too. Interesting. Fills the paladin in their eyes with unshakable confidence, screens their armor rating. Accuracy. Zealous charge. Uh... Raising the stride and disengagement defense. Yeah. No, I want this one activated. And I want get rid of this second one. There can be only one. So can I only have one aura at a time? Why is that not selected? I'd rather have the aura than this freaking thing here. Okay, well, I guess this is the way it's going to have to be. At once. Oh, no, no, girl. We travel as a group. At once. Let's see if we can sneaky sneak up over here. Yeah. So who are we dealing with? Look. The Steel Preacher. Immunity disease. Immunity to poison. And a couple of low lives. They got some good defensive, though. They ain't not messing around. Let's go ahead. And we'll take out this... Uh, We'll take out these small fries first. Now, let's start this Fandango on up. Um, do I want to mark my prey? No, we're gonna hobble this guy. What is this guy doing back here? Is this guy almost dead? Now let's go select me. Let's get an interrupt. Sucker! Since he is trying to target me, uh, how many points do I got? I got four. Let's go ahead and give him a gouge. Sucker! How's everybody else doing? Everybody else is fine. Is this guy dead yet? He just got knocked straight back. Let me run on over here. Oh man, I ended up using that freaking ability. That sucks. Um, how's my pig doing? My pig's alright. He's got a ton of freaking health now. Let's go ahead and bloody this dude. That's not very helpful. Everybody, on this dude. Holy gee willikers! What is this guy doing to me here? 
Yeah, interrupt that nonsense. Is this dude dead? Yes, he is. He is dead now. So, him being dead, we can just straight target him. Let's go ahead and hobble this guy. Bop. How do you like that? Um, let's see what else we can do here. Let's go ahead and mark him. Well, this guy is no freaking joke. What has he got going on here? Well, he can take a freaking beating. My boy's gonna need some healing. So let's go ahead and just use a potion on him. Now, what else can we do here? My guy here. Reduce damage to receive. It's away at the target's spirit, inflicting crust damage and converting that essence into health for the caster. Which he's fine on that. Oh, burning damage. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and combust this dude's wounds, man. Well, let's get back to me. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to have to kind of ride this on out. This guy is tough as freaking nails, though. What can you do, boy? He's got plenty of barbarian skills. Okay, so. We can assail targets, grasp and rally, cause them to shake and confuse, shock the targets, which will bind them all the nearby enemies. A worm's target mentally communicates with the body is paralyzed, and it causes the soul to emit a shockwave that can lead nobody. Nope. Enemies are to believe their worst fears. Splash affliction stifles the future force of military suspend in hostile status. Okay, so. I don't know, we're just going to kind of let him do his thing. What, what can these things do? So, Granny trying. Yeah, okay, so we'll just uh, we'll just kind of let this ride on out. Boy, this guy is straight tough as nails. It's like he has to be almost out. Yeah, okay, he's finally run out of his things, man. Now he's taking some freaking damage. No, I think you'd be all right. Because we're man, this is just, this guy's just taking a beat down. You're mine. Just giving them a fish. Frog in the figurehead. Oh my God. My boy. My boy. Now she can. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's got her chant on. Let's go ahead and have her heal. My boy. Very nice. Now this guy, I think I put a scroll on him. Let's go ahead and use a scroll. Can I get him and me? Yeah, we can get all three of us. Can't take much more. Oh my god, how in the world did that even happen? Who we? Now he does have second wind. And these stances are for handling groups, fan enemies, no. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a single combatant.
my boy here, though, man. Okay, so he's totally out of skills. Let's go ahead and give him a heal. Bam. You back up. Now, he's got enough skill points to do some of these things here. Me too. Better run. Cold that up, did not. Scatter in the tomb. You're mine. I need to try something else. So he keeps bringing this dude on in. So what's he down to? So we're just handpicking this guy, dude. He is freaking... Oh my god, this is like the longest... This is like a seven minute battle here. Boy, he better have some amazing stuff for me to steal after this. You don't need anything else. He's on death row. Finally! Man! Holy jeez! That was a battle. What's he got? Bolt casters? Grants crackling bolt? Shock Repulsion. Living Steel. What is this? Soul Essence. Possibly. I don't know. Hold the touch. Bombs. Great Helm. That. A Great Sword. I mean, nothing great. That's for certain. And the only person that really took any kind of uh, punishment was old Alof here. He's got some sort of status effect. Which we can just heal. I mean, boop, boop. In fact, he heals with just water. Okay, they don't need any other kind of freaking thing. Just a little bit of water will soothe their wounds. And then they'll feel mighty fine, apparently, right after that. A little eight hours has passed. Now, is there anything else on here? Usually, it's just a one and done on these things. Yeah. So, I'm imagining that guy's worth a bounty to somebody. To who, I don't know. But it will be worth something to somebody. Can I can I dock my can I dock here? Okay. Oh man, dude. Heck of a fight. Heck of a fight. I mean, eh, it was kinda not worth it, kinda was. I kinda need some freaking steel balls here pretty soon. No repairs and such like that. But you know what, everybody? That's gonna have to do it for us today. In our next episode, um, I haven't really decided yet what we're going to do. But we'll do something. It'll be great. Um, we'll probably go on some sort of adventure of some sorts. And these last two have been a little stagnant. But it's just kind of the way that these games roll. It's like you got to take got to take the bad with the good. I mean, it's you know, hopefully these conversations helped you out in your own conversations um, to where you're able to better deal with the, these sorts of people. Um, you know, because saying one thing leads to another. But, yeah, that's going to wrap it for us today. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't, go ahead, don't forget to leave a like, comment on down below, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. But until next time, everybody, you take it easy. And I'll see you around. Peace.